You know, when I look at uh, civil air patrol, uh, I, I have a picture of organizational excellence. Civil Air Patrol is an amazing organization. I think we can all agree on that. We have amazing people mm -hmm. doing amazing things. Uh, the timing is impeccable within Civil Air Patrol to be able to take the organization to the next level. I talked a little bit about this this morning, uh, but uh, we're, there's uh, the relationship with the Air Force is outstanding. Uh, we don't have huge internal drama going on at this juncture. We have, have gone through governance changes that clarifies roles and responsibilities that's done. And uh, we have a steady state tempo of operation within Civil Air Patrol that's really good. So this is the opportunity for us to be able to take the organization to the next level. How do we do that? talked again about that a little bit this morning, talked about the, the credo, we are called to professionalism and excellence. The Air Force expects that of us. Our major customers like FEMA expect that of us. Uh, federal, state, local agencies expect that of us. External customers, internal customers, the moms and dads of our cadets. We should expect it of each other as well. We're called uh, to be excellent. We're called to service. That's what this organization is all about. Whether you're a cadet or whether you're an adult volunteer, we are called to service, community, state, and nation. Uh, we are serving our nation. That's a, a broad term that covers every one of our external and internal customers. And we're taking care of our members as well. We're taking care of our own. And we're working with each and every person to help them to achieve their full potential so that they can be all the more effective as an individual. We can be all the more effective as a squatter, a group, a wing, a region, and across Civil Air Patrol. <laughs>